Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you the lazy component in Laravel's plate. Here I've got a fresh Laravel application with the coupon page. As you can see, it's quite slow, and that's because the code is generated by an API. Let's go to the editor and see what happens. Here I've got my routes file with the coupon route and the controller. In the controller, the code is generated on the fly. So this line right here is what's slowing down the page. Let's open the blade template. It's quite simple. We've got two headers and in the second header we echo out the code. Now this section right here with the code is the section that we're gonna wrap in the lazy component. So X plate lazy and let's wrap the header in that lazy component. Now we still need to change one more thing in the controller because the code is still generated on the fly with the API. So back in the controller, we are gonna use the splayed facade to tell splayed this API call should only happen when we are loading the lazy component. So splayed on lazy, and then we're gonna wrap the API call in this callback. So on the initial request, the API is not called, only when we are loading the lazy component. Let's go back to the browser and see what happens. Let's go to the home page and click on coupon again. And you can see that the page was loaded instantly. And here's the code. So that works, but it would be great if we have a placeholder to tell the user that the code is loading. And the lazy component has support for that as well. So we're gonna use a slot for the placeholder and let's say loading your code. And this placeholder is only visible when the lazy component is still loading. So one more time, let's go to the home page, go back, and now you can see loading your code, and there it is. So the loading of the lazy content happens right after the page has been loaded. But you could also choose to load the lazy content, for example, when a user clicks on a button. Let's check out how that works. We're gonna wrap the lazy component into a toggle, and we're gonna use a button above the lazy component. So button on click toggle, and we're gonna name this one show coupon code. Then we're gonna add a show attribute to the lazy component. So the lazy component will only be visible when it's toggled. Let's close the toggle element. And then the last thing we need to fix, we only want to show the button when it's not toggled yet. So V if not toggled. Let's go back to the browser. Now the code won't be loaded until we click on this button. So show coupon code, it's showing the placeholder, and there is our code. So this works fine as well. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you in the controller. Let's go back to the editor and open the controller. Right now, the only few data we have is the code. But of course, maybe there's other data as well. For example, maybe we load all users from the database. We might use this somewhere else in our template, but it's not in the lazy loaded content. So with this other method, the onInit, we can tell Splay to exclude the users from the template when it's loading the lazy content. So that's it. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time.